Ladies, have you recently given birth or maybe given birth a couple years ago and had pain with intimacy ever since giving birth? Let me tell you the story that prompted this video. I had a patient come in last week and she had had pain with intimacy ever since having her child. She talked to her OBGYN about it at her six week checkup and the OBGYN said, and I quote, well, if you just do it, it will get better because you'll realize that you like it. Friends, this drove me through the roof. And this is basically the reaction I had right in front of her. If you have been told this first off, I want to tell you that I am sorry. And I apologize for the fact that anybody told you that. And I don't care if it was a medical professional. I don't care if it was your mama. I don't care if it was a friend of yours. If you have been told this and minimalized by anybody in your life, I want to personally apologize. It is comments like this that drive me absolutely mad as a pelvic floor physical therapist and knowing the ability we have to deal with this issue. The fact that anybody in this day and age would be told something like that is absolutely incredible and it drives me crazy. So first thing, I am apologizing to you if you have ever heard this in your life that you should just grin and bear it or just get through it. Second thing, I want to tell you, I have helped many, many women who have pain with intimacy after childbirth get back to pain-free intimacy. In fact, I actually have a patient who I'm currently treating right now. Now, she originally came to me with some pelvic floor dysfunction as well as hip and low back because, you know, they're all connected and they all go together. We decided we needed to start with her pelvic floor because that's the base of the bowl, but also because that was where her primary dysfunction was coming from. You see, her pelvic floor was not only painful, but it was causing pelvic malalignment, which was leading to the hip and low back pain. So of course it makes sense to start with the pelvic floor. It was great news because when she came in for her second appointment, which was the first appointment after a full treatment session. So our first appointment is the evaluation. We do a little bit of treatment if there's time, but sometimes there's not, especially if it's a complicated case. So she had one treatment session where we addressed specifically her pelvic floor and she came in for her second session and she told me, I want to say thank you. My libido is through the roof. I don't know what you've done, but it's amazing. And if you want a testimonial, I will give you one and my husband will be happy to give you one. So ladies, I hope that that is encouraging to you. If you are struggling with pelvic floor dysfunction, particularly after giving birth, I hope that that is encouraging to you that there is a plan and there are people out there who can help you. And you can not only get back to pain-free intimacy, but you can get back to all your regular activities and not being when you laugh, cough, sneeze, jump on the trampoline and doing all the things that you like to do in life pain-free. Now, that is assuming that you were able to be intimate before you gave birth pain-free. Let me explain. Some people have difficulty with intimacy even before they have children. And sometimes they think that maybe it'll actually get better after they have children because, you know, everything kind of moves around. Chances are good if you were having pain with intimacy before children, it's a slightly different issue that you're dealing with. Now, a pelvic floor specialist can still figure out what's going on with you and help you with that. However, it's gonna be a slightly different path than if you're having pain after giving birth. Most commonly, if you're having pain after giving birth, it's due to a pelvic floor dysfunction with the muscles specifically, or it may be because you had an episiotomy and that scar tissue is bearing down in an unusual way, a way that's causing pain, or you may have been in an unusual position while you're giving birth. I actually recently had a patient tell me about how she gave birth laying on her left side with her right foot up in the air, and she had somebody actually supporting that right foot. So you can imagine the pelvic malalignment issues that happened after that. But anyway, you may have been in an unusual position and that caused some dysfunction that's happening right now. Or it may be that you've got some fascial issues in your abdominal cavity and the organs are having a difficult time getting back to where they're supposed to be. That's why it's important to work with a specialist who understands all of these dysfunctions. So organ mobility, pelvic floor dysfunction, as well as a really clear understanding of the neuromuscular structure. So that way they, they can figure out what the best plan is for your body. Because of course, everybody's birth story is different, which means every body is different after they give birth. 
The goal of this video was to provide some hope that if you have been told you just have to deal with it or you'll get over it or it's all in your head, if you have been told it's just all in your head, I promise you chances are good that it's not. Chances are good that it is actually in your body. What you need to do is find a really good pelvic floor physical therapist who can help understand what's going on with your body and why it's sending you these pain signals. Because if you were able to be intimate before giving birth pain-free, then you should be able to be intimate after giving birth pain-free. I wish you the best of luck on the journey. I hope that this has been helpful and I am sorry that you are walking through this, but I guarantee you there are people out there who are educated and qualified to be able to help you.